This question is all about the electrolysis of sodium chloride solution. Label the anode and the cathode, draw on the four ions that will be present in the electrolytes, and why would it not work with solid sodium chloride? So pause the video while you have a think about it and then resume the video and see if you got the answers correct. So for question A you need to remember the word PANIC and PANIC stands for positive anode and negative is cathode. So now we know that we can label the positive electrode as the anode and the negative electrode as the cathode. For the four ions, well it's sodium chloride solution. Sodium ions are Na+, it's a 1 plus ion because sodium's in group 1. Chloride ions are Cl-, minus. it's a 1 minus because chlorine is in group 7. And we also need to remember that the water dissociates or ionizes to form hydrogen ions H+, plus and hydroxide ions OH-. Minus. Why would it not work with solid sodium chloride? Well, in a solid, the ions are not free to move, whereas in a solution, the ions are free to move. Question D. What would be made or discharged at the anode? And write a half equation for this. So first of all, somewhere on your exam paper, quickly sketch out the anode which is positive and remember opposite charges attract. So that will attract the negative ions, in this case the chloride ion Cl- and the hydroxide ion OH-. But which one of those would actually turn into something? So the rule for this electrode is if we've got a halide ion present, that's anything from group 7, then the halogen will be made. If not, oxygen is made. And in this case, we have got a halide ion because chlorine is in group 7. So that chloride ion turns into chlorine and chlorine is made. So at that side, we would see chlorine gas collecting in the test tube. Now for the half equation, we need to remember that ions change into atoms. So the Cl- ions will change into chlorine atoms. And we've got one electron to put somewhere. So do we put it on the left or the right? Well, in this case, it goes on the right so that the charge balances. We've now got one minus charge on the left and one minus charge on the right. But we've also got to remember that because it's a halogen, chlorine goes round in pairs. They form diatomic molecules. So that means if we're going to produce Cl2, we need to double up everything else in the equation. Question F. What would be made or discharged at the cathode? write a half equation for this. So once again, you find a piece of your exam paper where you've got room to quickly sketch out a cathode and we need to remember opposite charges attract. So the negative cathode is going to attract the positive sodium ions and the positive hydrogen ions. And the rule for this side is that the least reactive is made or discharged. So you need to know your reactivity series. If you need a reminder about the reactivity series, I'll put a link up here now to a previous video. And once you do know your reactivity series, you know that hydrogen is less reactive than sodium. So in this case, hydrogen is made. And we can see on the diagram, the hydrogen would collect in the upturned test tube. Now for the half equation, once again, we remember that ions change into atoms and we need to put an electron either on the left or on the right. And in this case, it goes on the left because now we've got one plus and one minus on the left, which cancels out. So no charge on the left and also no charge on the right. But we do need to remember the second stage in this in that hydrogen goes round in pairs. So to become H2, we need to start off with two hydrogen ions and two electrons. So we double up on that second part of the equation. Just a quick reminder, if you're finding this video helpful, please remember to give it a like. So question H, what other useful product is made? And the tip is, think about what is left behind in the solution. So we've started off with those four ions. The chloride ions go off and turn into chlorine gas, which bubbles up into the test tube. The hydrogen ions turn into hydrogen gas, and that leaves behind NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide solution. So as well as making chlorine and hydrogen, we also make sodium hydroxide solution. And the last question, what test could you carry out to the anode and cathode to prove what gas is made? So you need to look back and see what gases were being made. 
and at the anode you'd use damp blue litmus paper and it bleaches with the chlorine gas. In other words, it takes the colour out of the litmus paper. At the cathode, hydrogen is being made, so you'd use a lit splint and it gives a squeaky pop. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching.